Hello guys, welcome to Helpful Solutions and let's begin. As you can see, I already have my data here. It's like month, rainfall, umbrellas, everything I could need. Of course, this will help me use the regression tool a lot. But for that, I need the regression tool itself so I can maybe do a linear regression, for example. For that, I need to go from my home screen to add-ins button at the right part of the screen, the right top part. I will go into add-ins and as you can see I already have the Excel minor analysis toolpack and everything but if you don't have it you will go with to add-ins and from the new window that pops up go to the bottom right part and click get add-ins. From here you will search analysis. After writing analysis here we will add the Excel minor analysis toolpack and of course add this to our system. After you add the Excel analysis toolpack system, it will show at the right part of the screen and then you will be able to just click on it and from here you will be able to do a linear regression or of course logistic regression from the alphabetical screen that pops up on the right side of your screen. I will click on the linear regression and of course we will select our input Y range, input X range and when we do that we will be back. For the Y input range, the Y input range is the dependent variable. In that case, it would be the number of umbrellas because the number of umbrellas changes with the rainfall. In that case, it would be something like this. And for the X range, we have to do the independent variable and that would be the daily or monthly rainfall. That way we will just add it like that. And of course, after that, from this screen as well, we will select the labels, the confidence level, the residuals. And after everything is done, we will be able to choose an output range like this or something like this. And when we click OK, it will give us all the data we could use. Of course, since it's like really big like this, you have to make the cells and columns a little bigger so you can actually properly measure and see the data to the fullest. As you can see, it gave me so much data, the upper 95%, the lower 95%, the p-value, standard errors, coefficients, and everything I could use from a regression analysis. And that was basically it. And as you can see, it was pretty easy. And of course, reading the data that was given to you is all up to you. Other than that, that was basically it and I hope you guys liked the video. If you did, don't forget to give us a like and maybe subscribe to our channel, Savvy Professor. In any other case, we hope to see you in the next video as well. Have a great day and goodbye.